This course was designed to be used as a preparation for taking the Java Programmer's Certification Exam. It was not intended to be used as a general tutorial, but it does include tutorial information about specific things. At the time this course was recorded, the current certification exam was for version 1.4, and the new version, called both 1.5 and 5.0, had been recently released. The course was designed to include everything for both versions, but the exams are actually quite different. The exam for version 1.4 is a multiple choice quiz, while the one for version 5.0 is a programming exam. You actually write code to specifications. This course does not have any practical questions or problems. Here's what I would suggest you do. Go back through the lessons and practice writing programs for anything that you don't fully understand or that you're not sure of. The new exam is all programming, so you'll need to be able to do that. This course began with some background information about classes and objects and such. You absolutely must understand those terms and relationships because everything else is built on top of that. The rest of the course covers specific things that you need to understand how to be able to do. The only way to learn how to program is to write programs, so practice. Make sure you can write programs that do the same sorts of things described in this course. As soon as you understand how to do that, you shouldn't have any problems with the exam. Go to the Sun website that describes objectives of the exam and read those objectives. Read all of it. Don't just skim it. Make sure you understand all of it and can write code requested for every bit of it. Some of it will be easy for you and some will be hard, and that's normal. But you need to take a shot at making all of it easy, and that only comes with practice. You may need to get information from other sources. There are books you can use if you need to clarify some point, and you can find things on the Internet. Just enter the specific search terms along with the word Java, and you'll get a long list of sites. There are lots of general listings of these things, so I've found that I may have to go pretty far down the list to get the right site. It's not uncommon to have a good one pop up at number 25 or 30 in the list. Good luck on the exam. If you have a good understanding of what's presented in this course, and you can write short programs using all this stuff, you shouldn't have any problems. I guess there's no need to tell you not to be nervous. Go ahead and be nervous. It has some good points, it keeps you alert, and is an excellent cardiovascular workout.